much as I try to show a new identity via style, the best way to measure change is a body over time. This is me dancing a month ago. Here is me dancing as a child. Artist Genesis Breyer Peoridge says, when you consider transsexuality, cross-dressing, cosmetic surgery, piercing, and tattooing, they are all calculated impulses, a symptomatic groping towards the next phase. Peorge says that in school, in peer groups, you're a boy, so you have to hang out with the boys and do boy things, and so on. The key point about this structure is that it's fictional. Soaps are notorious for allowing different people to embody the same identity. Ridge Forrester of The Bold and the Beautiful, once played by Ron Moss, is now Thorsten K. General Hospital's Carly Benson has been Sarah Joy Brown, Tamara Braun, and Laura Wright. The Wikipedia list of soap character recasts seems infinite. Duration facilitates change. 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 Many know two actors played Simba in The Lion King. Jonathan Taylor Thomas as adolescent Simba, Matthew Broderick as adult. But that doesn't include Simba's singing voices, Joseph Williams and Jason Weaver. And should we include Mark Henn and Ruben Aquino, Simba's animators, who literally drew his body into existence? When the plot moved to Broadway, Simba became Scott Irby Rainier and Jason Rays. In the 2004 direct-to-video sequel, Lion King One and a Half, Simba is Matt Weinberg groping towards the next phase. And what about all the millions of people who've been told, you are Simba by online personality quizzes. All equally Simba passing through one body, a single vessel. If Simba can write his own narrative and be this many people, I can be whoever the fuck I want.